Hey, this is Zach from over at the Pixel Connection, and today we're talking about the new Fujifilm GFX 50S Mark II. Let's get into it. So with the GFX 50S Mark II system, they took away the dials from top, and now we have a little bit slimmer look on top. So now we have the mode dial with all your manual aperture, shutter priority, aperture priority modes, and all your custom modes on top. But now on the side, we have shutter speed in the back, we have ISO in the front, and we still have aperture on the lenses. Along with that, we have a new improved joystick. I love the new joystick, it's a lot bigger, there's a lo little bit more texture to it, so it just fits the finger a little bit better. But we also lost some width on the camera, so we don't no longer have that very big back on that, like the old 50S system. But now we have a lot slimmer profile, and but we still have that Fuji three-way flip screen. So if we need to flip to the sides or out for portrait mode, we can still do all that. So great improvement and also great hand camera feel. It fits through your hands, really nice, really nice system, really small, compact, amazing. So with the GFX 50S Mark II system, we have a new battery. So the new battery is from the X-T4 system and you will recognize it because it's the W235 battery. So with this battery, we it actually improved the amount of shots we can get per charge. So we now can get 440 shots per charge with this smaller battery. So we no longer have that 125, we have the new W235. Shouldn't say new because it's old. The sensor in this camera is a 51.4 megapixel sensor, which is the same sensor size as the Mark I. But now we do have that new improved processor, the X4 image processor. Along with that, we get a better autofocus system. So it is a contrast-based autofocus system, but allows us to shoot into low light and grab focus a lot faster, a lot smoother. Now, along with this, if you pair it with the, G, the new GF 35 to 70 millimeter 4.5 to 5.6 WR lens, you'll have a very fast, lightweight shooting camera for under $4,500. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, the price of this camera, under $4,000. $39.99.95 for just the body, and with the kit, it is $44.99.95, which is an amazing steal for a medium format camera in 2021. So not only can you shoot at medium format with this, but it's also a great camera for video. So this does shoot full HD, you see 1080p at 30 frames per second. So if you are out shooting and still need to capture some video, this is a great camera just to be able to capture that video because you have 6.5 stops of image stabilization built in. So now you can hand hold those shots, especially at a little bit of distance with other lenses that also have stabilization built in. So this camera is geared for the portrait photographer and the landscape photographer. It is really small and does fit in most bags. As you can see, it, it's not much bigger than a traditional style DSLR or today's mirrorless cameras. But it's, if you're a photographer that needs medium format quality and you're on the go, this is a perfect camera for you. Like I said, it will fit right in a bag, right into carry-on, you can take it pretty much anywhere. And a lot of people won't notice that it's actually a medium format sensor in this thing. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Zach from over at the Pixel Connection. If you wanna check out more information about the GFX 50S Mark II, be sure to check out thepixelconnection.com and make sure you like and subscribe to this video. I will see you on the next one. I'm gonna go shoot.